person is never really gone. Their spirit, their personality, they're always going to still be around. Where the ripples go out and they go out for eternity and they never stop. Zadi loved superheroes. Everywhere he went, he was wearing his cape. I think he really believed he was a superhero. Zadi is my only son. He had this super curly, wild hair that was like, who'd just go everywhere. Zadi was born within the Navajo Nation. He was very connected to his culture. His name is said to mean, uh, speaks with the power of gentle water. It is gentle water that carves canyons and moves mountains. The day that I lost Zadi, we were walking across the crosswalk. My daughter was in my left hand and Zadi was in my right hand. When all of a sudden we were getting hit by a car, um, the driver was was distracted and hadn't even noticed um, that they had hit somebody. I remember watching the EMTs cut off his superhero outfit and cut off his cape. And Zadi died about 13 hours after he was hit. Uh, he died at the hospital. Because of a distracted driver, I will never know what Zadi would have grown up to be. If this particular boy who loves superheroes just about more than anything had become one, what would he have wanted to be like as a superhero? Doing a comic book based on Zadi is just really the best way to honor him because he loved comics. I was trying to find a way to include any kind of Navajo symbols into the costume. We wanted to honor the heritage as much as we could. We wanted to make sure that the fact that he was a protector and he wanted to protect the environment and he would protect people and Zadi could end up saving someone's life and there's nothing more superheroic than that. The most important person in this whole process is how the family reacts to it. Zadi's comic book is about what his life could have been and it allows his spirit and his energy to continue on. It's a gift, that's all I can say. This is such a gift. This project continues Zadi's legacy by imagining and, and creating this life that Zadi could have had.